Unity up right now. Let me change the lighting. It's playing around with the lighting, but I don't think it's going to work just yet. Um, so this is the ASP that I've been flying in all night. And what this project is, is I'm trying to get the internals of the ship done. Um, got some basic texturing on, just a flat color right now. A um, little bit of detail there. And then a lot of this has just been modeled out. So we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to show this off. So this is going to be my bedroom, the little commander quarter. And then in here we have the galley. Actually, you know what? This isn't a good way of showing it off. Let's show it off the right way. We'll show it off with the, uh, with VR. So let's do that. Hold on one sec. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Um, I'm gonna actually turn off the noise suppression. So hopefully it'll pick it up a little bit better. Go to filters. Take the disk gate and noise suppression off. All right, so now it's gonna be open micing a little bit, but hopefully you guys can hear me still. Um, but we're going to load this up into VR. Let's make sure that it goes full screen. It does. Hopefully the lighting's good. All right, it's a little dark, um, but I think it's still viewable. So let's go ahead and get my controllers. What and is your let's favorite jump drink? into VR. So this should turn on my controllers. All right, cool. So I got my two Vive controllers. So we're playing in the HTC Vive. Um, Lighting's actually looking pretty good so far. Um, all of these little lights, they're gonna be dropped down. I'm trying to make it look a lot like the uh, the inside of the ship, so I've been trying to look up some concept art and, and doing things that way. But one of the things I got this week is, uh, whoop, why did that work? Oh, it's because I looked at it. Um, I, got it I got some locomotion, so I can actually walk in place and it moves me forward on the ship. Uh, this here, this is the um, an elevator. So we're on the second floor of the ship right now. We're gonna be uh, eventually be able to go into the elevator and take it down to the the first floor. So if you were in the um, if you were in the other cockpit, you could go down the es the elevator. Um, over there, that's the entryway for the ship or for the the main cockpit god i'm tired all right so let's do some more walking this is all controlled by my basically when i walk my head bobs up and down and so that will that basically controls that um so this here this is the galley so this is where you'll where you'll go to eat your food and and whatnot on the ship um there'll be some uh some tables that'll be there. I found some good concept art on tables. If you, uh, if you ever want to look at some cool Elite Dangerous concept art, check out artstation.com. Um, almost all the artists have stuff on there. You can find stuff like early concepts of the mining lasers and all the different iterations. Pretty cool site. Um, but over here in this area is going to be all the cabinets and fridges and stuff like that for actually getting your food. So I'll have those all set up over there. Um, Pop on over here. Ba, 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 ba. It's a workout as I walk into the wall. Um, this here is going to be the bathroom. Uh, it's a little small right now, but um, I think it'll have enough. We're going to have a full shower, uh, toilet, urinal, whatever. That'll be in there. Um, hopefully you guys can still hear me. I'm gonna back up a little bit so hopefully I'm facing more towards the microphone. It's a it's a condenser microphone, so it works best when we're uh, when I'm looking right at it. Um, this is gonna be the engine room. 
so you'll have the engine room that'll probably just be closed off i don't think i'm gonna actually go in and try to build a, an engine for the ship but that's where it'll live um this is a, another hallway and all these doors are actually going to get revamped um the concept art that I was originally basing them off of was based on a Type 9, but we're actually going to be making them in, uh, in the fashion of the Type uh, of the Asp, so we'll be switching that up pretty soon. Um, over here, this is cool, here we have the cargo bay, so these are all the uh, the canisters that you would actually put on your ship. So when you order like you know 20 20 units of uh, palladium, that's what they come in. They're uh, two meters tall by one meter across. Eventually, I'll have uh, holders for them, so you'll actually be able to like it'll make sense and not just floating. They'll actually have something to actually hold them in by. Uh, but that's what I got there right now. this way now. Come back to the front of the ship. Cycling next target. I'm like bouncing into stuff all over my room while I do this, but um, this is another room. Pretty cool. But that's what I got so far. Um, gonna be doing a lot more texturing. And a lot, a lot of these models are actually going to change. I'm going to add a little bit more detail to them. Going to get the elevator working. The doors will actually, the doorways will actually have doors inside of them, and they'll match what's inside the ASP uh, right now. So what I just took some pictures tonight while I was to? flying. So hopefully that'll get better. And uh, let's see. I think that's it. We can do one run through. Let's do that real quick did one of these uh, yesterday, it was pretty cool. Uh, all right, so ready, set, go. Oh shit, oh fuck, I fell through the floor. <laughs> oh man, bye ship. Wow, I was not expecting that. All right, well I think that's where we're gonna end the stream tonight. Uh, thanks everybody for coming out and hanging out with us, chatting with us. It was good to see some new faces, good to see some old faces. And uh, we will see you on next Tuesday. And we'll be putting out a new Commander Log episode on Monday, roughly around 2 p.m. So be looking forward to that. And until next time, guys, I will catch you on the frontier.